All right, we're live. We're live. Mr. Hames here with, uh, who we got in the background? Mr. Lang. Mr. Lang, we're just enjoying a cup of coffee and talking science here. I just finished up teaching a live class. Mr. Lang, do your students have a question about sodium? We were just talking about salt yesterday. We were looking under salt under the microscope and some of them knew that it was sodium chloride. So we got into whole talking about how sodium and sodium chloride are two different things and realized that ingesting sodium would not be a good thing um, due to the highly reactiveness of it with liquid or water or moisture. And so we just uh, came up with the idea, let's try to see if we can toss them into some snow and see if we can get anything, what that would look like. The snow is melting and rapidly because it's been pretty warm out. So we figured we'd try this when we had a little bit of time. We're gonna see if we have any snodium. Snodium? Snodium. snodium. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. We're gonna find some sodium and throw it into the snodium. See what we got. So, I'm gonna hand you that. Okay, so I got some water here. Mr. Lang, we got sodium in there? There's a lot in there. Holy cow, I didn't even realize we had so much. Okay, I don't know if you can see in there, but those are chunks of sodium. I'm gonna try to poke one and take one out here. Okay, piece of sodium, there we go. How would you describe that, Mr. Lang? Moldy cheese. <laughs> yeah, you want to try it? Like, I no. like blue cheese, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, so that's like a, oh wow, look at, real shiny there. The interesting thing is it's kind of always reacting, it's unstable. It has an electron that wants to give away on its outer shell. And one of the things it reacts with is water. So the reason it's gray, like this, okay, and looks like that moldy cheese, is because it's doing something called oxidizing. It's reacting with oxygen in the air. It's also reacting with water that's in the air. There's water vapor in the air. So it's always kind of reacting. So when I take it and I cut it open like this, okay, I have uncovered parts of the sodium that haven't yet been exposed to the oxygen and the water in the air. They haven't oxidized or reacted yet. So that's why it's shiny, okay? Very soft metal. It's, yeah, and as you can see, it's a metal, but it's like like he just said, it's very uh, soft. That's why I can cut it and bend it. I could press my finger into it, and with a little bit of pressure, you can see the indentation of my finger. Yeah, it's kind of like cheese or butter or something like that. So this is what happens. Add sodium to water. It reacts with the water to form sodium hydroxide. That's in the smoke that you see kind of coming out of there. That's in the gray powder that you're seeing start to develop there in the water. So it reacts. So this is the background you need. We know snow is frozen water, so we want to see what happens when we drop this uh, large chunk here in the snow, right? Yeah, I'm gonna back away a little bit. It melted right down into the snow. <laughs> that makes me so happy. It's still going. So I don't know if you guys saw the sodium quickly sank into the snow as the snow melted around it because the sodium was heating up. But that was kind of cool because it created a hole where we saw some flames coming out of there. Then a lot of the sodium hydroxide smoke and we can still hear some sizzling so we can assume it's still reacting. Wow, yeah, you can see the grass down there. The sodium's gone. Wow. Okay. It's a solid seven or eight inches of snow. It sank right down to the bottom. All right, ready? Mr. Lang. It's kind of like playing bocce ball, trying to get it close to the... No flames that time yet. This one's, this is not as exciting. Do I go check it out? I'm going in. It's still going. Uh, all right, so it did finally explode. 
Here's a crater in the snow. <laughs> you okay, Mr. Lang? I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Hey, he had his safety goggles on. I did. Side. Okay. All right, so for my eighth graders, we've talked about sodium a lot of times, and what happens is sodium reacts with water to form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. So when we just drop the sodium in the snow there, of course you saw it start to react. It was reacting with water, which is what snow is. It's frozen water. And this, of course, is what the equation would look like balanced. If you haven't seen our other videos of sodium reacting with water, be sure to check out either of these ones that you see on screen right now. And if you like this stuff, be sure to subscribe. Thanks students for following what we do here at SMS Science. Adios.